it doesn't look like you're going to get much out of the European summit. Uh, what does that mean for Ukraine's future? You see, just now we have an answer on the main question. Whether all countries that guarantee for us sovereignty, independence, will support our sovereignty and independence. So, first of all, it's nuclear power sta states such as United States, Great Britain, France, China. Because if you will not protect our independence, it means for all other nations, such as Iran, Pakistan, India, and other whom we need to withdraw their nuclear weapon, we will never protect them also. So now we have to answer the main question, whether the nuclear power states will save the peace in the world. And this peace now is on the Black Sea, where we need a real support of these countries in order to protect our southern border from the war that Russian invaders started these days. Is it not a hard fact of realpolitik that Crimea has in effect already been annexed by Russia? It is now, to all intents and purposes, Russian. Really, just now we have the annexion. But in the meaning of population, we have one-third of the population, it's Crimea Tatars, one-third of the population more, it's Ukrainians, who will never will be in Russia empire. It means that just now only one-third of the population who are Russians, even not all Russians, want to support so-called referendum. If you know just now, the parliament of Crimea announced this referendum yeah. not on the 25th of May, not on the 30th of March. Now they announced 15th of March, a new date of referendum. It means that Russian invader have been already fall down. So they need to provide this referendum just in several days. I think that the answer on this referendum will not be illegal because we do not have such law. Another case, it will be a referendum under the weapon that Russian invaders want to use as the main argument on this referendum. The Europeans, particularly the Germans, take huge amounts of Russian gas and oil. It's essential for them. They also together export 130 billion euros of exports to Russia every year. It seems that they put that as being more important than the freedom of Ukraine from Russian control. What do you say? I don't think so. It's a problem of Russia how to solve their gas and oil. Because just now it's a problem of Russian economy. Because without the solving of problem how to solve salt this gas and oil, they will never have their economy. Because 87 percentage of Russian economy is based on oil and gas dollars. So we must understand that our world is so close together that it's not only a problem of Europe where to buy gas and oil. It's a problem of Russians, first of all, how to solve this oil and gas. Because one day of real sanctions against Russia, it means that millions of peoples of Russians will be on the streets and they will protest against the regime of Putin who want to provide third world war. It's very important to understand for everybody. That may be true, Mr. Sobolev. I'm well aware that the Russians need that foreign currency. But to do what you've just said they should do, the Germans would need to have a stomach for that fight, that economic sanctions fight. There is no evidence that the Merkel government has any, ev any stomach for that fight. You see, now it's a position of some states, but at the same position, for example, Germans supported our independence and our sovereignty all this period of time. And they must understand that it's not only a question of Crimea. After Crimea, they want to be invaders in Pridnistria. It's just on the borders with NATO. So it's only the start of Russian Empire war and I think that whole world must understand Crimea, it's not the end of this war. It's only the beginning 
of Third World too. When, for example, some years ago, everybody watched the events in Georgia and thought, it's not our country, it's not our territory. Now it's Crimea, next it will be Prednistria. And I think it must be the main question in order to protect real peace in Europe and in the world. Final question to you, Mr. Sobolev. Um, Crimea seems to be gone, at least for now. How big at risk is East Ukraine from some sort of Russian incursion? You see, I am from Eastern Ukraine. I am from Zaporizhia. It's a serious industrial center. Still now in Zaporizhia, in Kherson, in Mykolaiv, in other our regions, everybody provide to support the central government in Kiev. The only way they want to divide Ukraine, they want to have a support in Donetsk region. But you can compare. Yesterday we have two meetings. More than 10,000 people in a support of one united Ukraine and near 1,000 people who was Russian flags from Russia, mostly from Russia, because they have now to pass bodies with Ukraine and Russia body. They supported Russian empire. So I think that now it's not even a question of Eastern Ukraine. Now it's a question of Crimea where more than 60 percentage of population really are Ukrainians and Crimea Tatars. The Russian population is divided. Even Russians in Crimea understood that now it's a war. They never want to have a war because the only business in Crimea is tourism. In this meaning, they will stop any real profits from their business. So. All people in Crimea, and we can see this on the picture, are on their houses. They are not on the streets. On the streets we saw only Russian troops who are in so-called green clothes. But it's really Russian troops. So Russian inventors can't never be uh, conquerors of the Crimea. I right. think that your support, it's not a support of Russians or Ukrainians. It's a support of independence of the state that you guarantee as Great Britain and other countries that we will be independent because we live and we withdraw okay. our nuclear weapon. Mr. Sobolev, thank you very much for giving us your time and joining us on the BBC uh, this morning, this morning, thank London you. time anyway.